This is Cerebral Cinema. Movies of the Mind. Hey, Jack. What you done with Sonny? Oh, she's up on the plane trying to make Hermie comfortable for the night. Little chap's pretty well tuckered out. Ain't we all after spending last night trying to sleep on a stone bench? Quite. With vampires roosting about. Well... We accomplished a good day's work, even with eyes watching us from the jungle every minute. Funny thing, them watching us all day, not making a move. Well, it might be different tonight. I wouldn't be surprised. Seems like vampires in the dark are made for one another. We should be safe enough in the plane with one of us on guard. As long as we're armed and keep our wits about us. You know something, Reggie? I ain't shot me a wild Indian a heck of a while. <laughs> I doubt very much if these are Indians. Priests of the temple, maybe. Most likely. But who are these priests of the temple? Sounds like they was on the Spanish side to listen to them. Bound to be with all that seeing senior reader and senior business. Well, there's no telling. They talk as though they've been here for centuries. Well, bound to have been. All that business about vampire worship being the native Indian's religion. You don't establish a religion overnight. Well, at least not one that will permit a human sacrifice. Are you two trying to sell me on the idea that these same folks have been here for centuries? Manuel and that little chief vampire Angelina? Well, according to all the best authorities, the vampire is ageless. You know? Well, Angelina didn't sound to me like no three, four hundred year old female. Well, no matter of fact, she's not. Yeah, how would you know about that? I don't know it, but I know it isn't reasonable. There isn't and never was such a thing as a true vampire outside of some author's imagination. But what about all this stuff we've been running into? Well, undoubtedly, there's been some kind of a synthetic vampire worship set up down here. All the mystery and trappings that go with it, even uh, human sacrifice. But Manuel and Angelina are human beings. And what about Angelina's red lips and sharp white teeth? Well, most Latin girls do have red lips and... Uh, Naturally, her teeth would flash white against her dark skin. Uh -huh. And how do they float from ledge to ledge up yonder in the temple? I don't know. Well, Angelina is sure enough mighty anxious to get her hands on Hermie. And Manuel is just as interested in Sonny. Yeah, it wouldn't take a vampire to find Sonny attractive. Now, that there was the most astute observation of the day, fella. There's plenty of he-men could go for Sonny. And I don't have to spit over my chin to hit one of them. More truth than poetry in that observation. One thing, though. Don't you think we ought to warn Sonny and Hermie about us being watched from the jungle? No. I hope they might wander off a little piece without thinking anything about it. Well, I've warned them to stay close to the plane. I agree with Jack, Doc. No use worrying Sonny any more than's necessary. Uh-huh. Uh, I don't mind telling you, it feels good to lay in the back, even on the ground. I'm still pretty much on the muggy side, though, and the sun's been gone a couple of hours. Breeze may maybe come up off the lake pretty soon. Well, that's just plain optimism. <laughs> maybe. Oh. Will you be looking at the stars up in that sky? Hmm. How many million do you suppose there is? <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> Quiet. Where's your romance, son? It takes more than a star to flutter Jack's heart. Don't you know that by this time, Doc? It takes more than a woman, even. You're just plain soured on the female sex the way I figure you, Jack. Oh, I can take them and leave them. I know that. A woman must have sure done you dirt somewhere in your life. That's going to be enough of that. Talking out of turn? No, forget. I still owe you a bust on the jaw for what you did to me last night. What's that got to do with it, son? Well, this would be as good as time as any. Now, is that nice? Then change the subject. Okay, okay. Are we going to draw straws to see how to dry up the watch tonight? Well, if you like. Oh, Jack? Yeah? Somebody give me a hand down. I'm your man, sonny. There. All right. Throw it down. You won't miss me in the dark. It'll never be dark enough for that. All right. I got you. Thanks. Want to set a while? Yes. Oh, I thought we'd uh, turn in with Hermie. It's positively suffocating in that plane. I don't know how the poor little kid's going to get any sleep. Well, we're all in the same fix. We couldn't bring some blankets down and sleep out here under the plane. No, not a chance. It, it really is that dangerous? Yes. How how long do you think we will have to be here? A week, probably. Uh, how about it, Reggie? Well, maybe not as long as that. Now that we've got the plane jacked up and I've had a chance to look at the undercarriage. It isn't as bad as you thought? Now, good luck was riding with us. And 
How about the gasoline? No, it's, it's water, all right. I tested some of it this afternoon. That's going to be a nice job. Filling 200 gallons of gas through a shanty. Well, it's, it's got to be done. Tomorrow, I've got to hunt out a big flat rock I can use for an anvil. We've got a couple of twisted rods, and I'm going to have to beat them back into shape again. Well, down along the lake shore, we should find something. No, no quite. I'll find something. The cigarette, Sonny? I was wondering if I was going to be left out. You three enjoying your pipe? Well, help yourself and ask for what you want. Thanks. Light. That's better. Notice how many bats there are flying around. They're not liable to get in my hair, are they? No. You know something, Jack? What's that? If it wasn't for Sonny and Hermie, I wouldn't mind sticking around here for a little. What are you trying to do? Make me feel in the way? Now then, sugar, don't be so touchy. Yeah? I just meant that you and Hermie are up against something down here you can't lick. Jack and Reggie and I give as good as we get. So what? Well, if it wasn't for you two, I'd like to go back to Temple and really find out what's going on. Oh, not for me. But if we pull out now, we never will no more. We know now. I know enough. Just doesn't seem like us to pull out of anything before we got our curiosity satisfied. Well, then, for goodness sakes, go back. Don't let me stop you. Hey, honey, you don't need to take it that way. Well, if I'm cramping your style... Forget it, Sonny. Well, gosh, anyway, I tried to be a good guy. And you have, too. I, I didn't mean that and just... That, that girls were made for stuff like this. I wish I hadn't come. Hey, you folks down there. Honey, I thought you were asleep. It's too hot. Can I come down there? No, honey. You've got to get some sleep. I'm coming up in the plane, too. You'll smother. Well, then, we'll just smother. I'm coming right up right now. But, Sonny, you only just came down. What difference does it make? Well, okay, I'll help you. Don't bother. All right. That's how you like it. Uh, oh, there. Get out of the door, Hermie. I'm coming up. Yeah, sure. Oh, oh, darn. Hey, you tore something. Get out of the way, Hermie. Give you a hand? No, you can't give me a hand. I'll help you. Thanks. Oh, oh, oh sweat and awful. Well, we'll be sweating together. Come on. The female of the species. Mm -hmm. Gets mad at us and then goes and rips her slacks pants. And they were the beautiful slacks, too. I don't like slacks on women myself. Well, not much, anyway. God, that wasn't a very tactful thing to say. My what? How about wishing she wasn't alone? I didn't say that. Well, she took it that way. I've yet to see a woman who didn't take things different than you said it. Oh, <laughs> Jack? You're all sleepy. How about uh, drawing lots to stand watch? Sure. Pick some different length sticks. All right. Short stick watches from now until midnight. Next from midnight up until three, and the long one from three to six. Thousand. And that's when everyone gets off. Okay, Doc. Take one. Uh huh. Reggie? Right now. Well, measure up. Well, doggone, I didn't draw the last watch. And I have the short one. From now until midnight. All right, that uh, puts me in the middle. You're welcome to it. Me and I'd rather sleep all in one piece. Well, what about it, Jack? What do I do? Well, just watch now. Either sit up in the doorway of the plane or patrol down here in the ground. Huh? Yeah, then I'll stay down here. All right, now keep your gun handy and don't move out into the open. Huh? You may depend on that. Going up now, Jack? Yes. Okay. Yes, I will, too. You in? Yeah. Okay. Who are we? Talk about your turkey's bath. All right, pipe down. Yeah. Which side of the floor do you want? I'm putting my blanket right here. Okay, good thing we could take these seats out and give us some room. Yeah. Uh. Hey, girl, be up. Oh, you can cut the pipe. Yeah. Now, blooming pipe's gone out. <laughs> Nasty bats. Good for mosquitoes, though. Ah, better. Reggie? Hello. Is that you, Sonny? It's just too darn hot inside. Doc and Jack asleep? I don't know. They act like it. I don't know whether you should be sitting in that doorway or not. Please. 
please. My slacks are sticking to me like red bathing suits. Not much cooler out here. Well, at least I can breathe. Hurt yourself when you slipped getting into the plane? No, just tore the leg of my slacks. Situation like this, good idea for everyone to keep his temper. I know it, but darn Doc Long, anyway. Mm, quiet. <laughs> I see your point. Don't you suppose I know I'm in the way and I hate it? No, I wouldn't say that. Crabbing about eating tomatoes out of a tin, making a fuss about going up those steps in the temple, and just being plain female, like Doc said, done it all. I don't think sex has much to do with it. You don't? As I see it, you're not toughened up to it. Now, put a white-collar man from behind a desk down here, and his reactions would be just about the same as yours. Reggie, you're wonderful. I am. I was beginning to get an awful complex about being a girl. <laughs> Were you really? If I had a gun, maybe I could give as good as I have got, too. You never shot one? Nope. <laughs> then I wouldn't advise it. But all you have to do is pull the trigger. Was well, that all? Are you standing right below me? Yes. Why? It must be getting darker. I can't see you. I moved into the shadow of the plane. Oh. Could you teach me how to shoot? In time. But we'll be out of here before you really get the hang of it. Well... That's the first thing I'm going to do when I get back home. Go to a shooting range and take lessons. What's the matter? Don't you think I could learn? Ricky? Ricky? Where are you? Oh, is that you? Why didn't you... Oh, what are you doing? Let go of me! Help, Doc! Yeah. Help, Jack! Doc! Help! Something got me! Something got me! Something got me! Cerebral Cinema hopes you have enjoyed this movie of the mind.